What's up? Welcome back to Nostalgia. Dave here with a review of Vince Staples' sixth album, Dark Times. Vince is back, first album since Ramona Park Broke My Heart back in 2022, an album I liked quite a bit, had that album in my top 10 of that. And now Vince is back with his last album on Def Jam, of course, the label he's been home to for over 10 years. I mean, Hell Can Wait, the first release, that was 2014. It's been a long time. And we already know exactly where Vince will be going next because he's actually signed a deal with Motown already. Motown also under the UMG umbrella like Def Jam. The last two Vince albums were on Motown and not Def Jam, so we're kind of closing the loop on Def Jam now with Dark Times. Kind of funny label machinations there. But either way, Vince Staples is one of my favorite rappers, and he has been for a long time. I think he's one of the most unique figures we have in hip-hop and certainly one of the most significant rappers from the west coast in a long time and of course vince himself has become quite the personality quite the celebrity in his own right even though he's never become a superstar rapper per se obviously finding a lot of success with his netflix show last year so vince is i think in a lot of people's lives in a bunch of different ways doing some acting uh, outside of that show as well and now on the music front, Vince Stable's sixth album, Dark Times, is very much a continuation of the sonic evolution of Vince Staples. We've gotten the last few albums, namely Vince Staples has gotten a bit more melodic, a bit more vulnerable or softer, you could say, in his delivery, but he's really matching that with just choice production the entire time. Much like Ramona Park Broke My Heart, Dark Times has a lot of really listenable, fun-to-revisit songs that still fit in this grander context of the album from Vince. And it's still a short and succinct listen, only like 30 minutes. And yet there's just so many keepers. In particular, I have to shout out track six, Etouffee, which, oh my god, is this special. This is an amazing Vince track. So bouncy, still has a hard delivery from Vince. Verses are great, and then the chorus is so big and so illustrious i think this is an incredible song where you have vince talking about getting label feedback paying homage to cash money in louisiana it's super cool in general though it's really cool i think that vince has kind of honed in on this new version of his sound because if you remember two albums back the self-titled album vince staples was kind of the debut of this melodic vince you could say and it was definitely a more polarizing album definitely one of the least popular of his, of his works. But then with Ramona Park Broke My Heart and now again with Dark Times, I think Vince has found a kind of happy medium where he still can kind of give like a banger quality to this, to these songs, even though Vince is clearly giving a bit more of an understated, introspective type delivery. And that's what makes a song to me like Etouffee so cool because Vin, then Vince kind of debuts like a little bit of a hard delivery on the verse it stands out even more going through the track list here i thought track two black and blue stood out I like the kind of jazzy uh vibe to that the saudi arabia choppa's line was pretty funny government cheese i think is pretty good uh in terms of lyrical message from vince vince is always a pretty reflective introspective guy never one to shy away from talking about his past and now also having the you know clairvoyance to realize that his station has changed and the kind of survivor's guilt he might feel from that as a result. Track 5, Shame on the Devil, probably my least favorite just because it's a bit slower um, in terms of vibe, in terms of tempo compared to most of their other songs. I've talked a lot about Etouffee already. I like this song so much. I want to just shout out, I think probably one of some of the strongest writing on this label trying to give me feedback, tell me to bring the streets back. Vince said they want 2015 Vince drop big fish club in week since damn like that's really i think wise and precise about the vince experience i enjoyed justin uh kind of a pure storytelling song but still has really nice strong drums those drums continue on the next song radio nothing matters awesome drums mixed with keys the outro singing i think was a really nice touch track 11 little homies here's like melodic vince like two with t super dancey kick drums from Kaylin Ellis beat sounds awesome nice fast flow from Vince the life hard but I go harder hook I think is quite sticky then you have outro singing vocals again this kind of reminds me of how like Lemonade worked off the last album or Magic where these are like super bouncy like melodic Vince songs 
that you can listen to as singles but still fit in the context of the album the context of the message track 12 freeman i thought was kind of funny it starts out with these like 50s like frankie valley ass vocals pretty funny but then vince giving you some really reflective lyrics on his journey and then the last song why won't the sun come out features not no vince at all it's actually santa gold kind of speaking about a dream and uh, dropping some kind of conclusive thoughts kind of interesting thing about vince staples he's been on def jam this entire time even though he never became a superstar in the traditional hit making sense now that he's moved over the motown but he's still under the umg label i feel like vince is in a great place where there's not pressure to be a radio to- a chart topper and he can just kind of stick to his sound stick to his desires and make really impressive music i mean at this point vince has several very strong albums under his belt oftentimes they're quite short track lists as well he's pretty concise you know after kendrick and tyler vince to me is the la rapper and it's fucking awesome i like i think he's great he's still got a lot of i think juice left in the tank he's only you know 30 now so or 31 almost so it's been quite the journey he's been quite prolific and i expect that to continue the guy's obviously funny as a celebrity but as a rapper i think he really backs it up with the music and if you're a fan of vince you pro- back then you're probably still a fan now because he's been very consistent even though he hasn't stayed exactly the same the entire time it's great to see but yeah let me know what was your favorite song on vince staples latest album dark times what do you want to hear from him next and for more rap reviews more music reviews subscribe and i'll see you next time